Hello guys, I'm Mikkel and today we are going to do some ear training, okay? Um, so this is what you're going to have to do for me, okay? You have to find one of your favorite songs, okay? Uh, just use one of your favorite songs to use that song as a reference, okay? Um, like for example, me, whenever I think of sounds, whenever I think of um, you know, ear training, there is one song that I think about, and the name of that song is Jaira, but uh, I think it's by uh, Elevation Worship in Maverick City, okay? So that song, whenever I think of that song, I hear a note. For example, the E-flat note, I know that... So whenever I hear that, whenever I, I, I think of that song, I hear it automatically in my ears, okay? And, and, and because I can, I can hum the note, it's easier for me to find it on the keyboard. And because I, I, I can find it on the keyboard, you know, it makes it a lot easier for me to memorize the sound as well, okay? So I memorize the sound, I know what it is on the keyboard, and from that note... Because of that single pad at, uh, in the intro, uh, I can even I can even hear the melody. I know ta is G. Okay, I know is G B flat C, uh, and then B flat to to F. Okay, so G, B flat, C, B flat to F, okay? I can hear the melody because of that song, okay? That's my favorite song. Um, I memorize the sound, and whenever I think of that song, I can hear the notes. I can hear the notes, like every single note in my ears, okay? So, that's the pad, the intro of the song, that's the pad. Okay, okay? Now... Now that I have a reference, I have a song that I can refer to, okay, what else can I do with that song? Okay, so find one note of the song that you can remember, right? That's what I said, right? Which is the E flat, okay? That's what I remember all the time, okay? And also the, the G, B flat, C to F. G, B flat, C, uh, B flat, F, okay? Okay, G, B flat, C, B flat, F, okay? Because those, those five notes, are in my ears. I can hear them all day. I can spend like five days without listening to the song and I will still be able to hear it, okay? If you were to ask me, uh, sing me an, an E flat, I'll be like, oh, it, it's, it's probably gonna be now. It's probably gonna be spot on. Uh, I don't have perfect pitch. I'm working on my relative pitch, okay? I'm trying to enhance that. I'm trying to make that a lot better. Um, so, uh, whenever I listen to songs, even if I don't have a keyboard in front of me, I can refer to that song, okay? Uh, for E flat, and then compare whatever song that is I'm listening to to see if I can figure out the key signature of that song, okay? And if I can figure that out, I can tell you the chords just by hearing the song. And if I cannot tell you the chords, I, I can at least tell you uh, the progression, okay, the numbers, okay, I can, the numbering system of that song, I should be able to tell you what they are just by hearing uh, that song, okay. So we know that this is E flat, okay. So this is my, I'm, I'm going to say this is my favorite note. What can I do with that note? What else can I do with that note, okay? E flat. What if I want to sing like a, a perfect fifth off of, off of that note? Okay, I know it's mm, okay. I can I can hear it because I can refer. Mm, mm, okay, so what if I want to sing like a six? Okay, I can I can sing whatever note uh, because I know it's E flat. What if I want to sing like a, a a C or a G or a B flat or an A flat or a, an F sharp? Can I do that? Okay. Spit a note. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. So I'm just gonna call out the notes and let's see if my ears are able to pick that up, okay? So let's say I'm pressing E flat and I would like to uh, hear 
uh, let's say D. Oh, it's too close. Okay, let's pick another one. Let's say A, for example. This is a. This is E flat, right? And I'm looking for A. Okay, there is a song that can help me with that. Here comes the bride. So that's a perfect fourth from the E flat, right? Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Right? So I'm using that song to see if, if it can lead me to where I need to go. Okay? So I'm looking for A, right? I know uh is A flat. Uh, okay? So I know A is sound like that. Uh, just by using techniques like this. So what if I'm looking for another note? Let's say I'm looking for, I don't know, sharp five of that E flat. Sharp five, what is sharp five? I'm even, <laughs> I have to think, it's B, okay? So sharp five uh, of E flat is B, okay? So what can help me find a sharp five from E flat? I know sharp five is B. What does the um, five sound like? One, three, five. Okay. Okay. How far is short five from five? It's a half step up. One, three, five. Okay. So I can hear that. Five. Okay. Short five. I can hear that. Not because I have perfect pitch. Because I'm, I know that my one note is secure. I know that note. I am comfortable with that note. I can hear it all day. So I can find any other note because of that single note. Okay. Da! I know this is G. Okay. Because of the melody of that song, right? Uh, okay. So that's the song. Uh, hopefully I'm not too loud. I'm sorry. I didn't check the levels there. But that's how I do my e-training. So one thing that I like to do is use songs like, like I said, Here Comes the Bride and B, C. So I know N is E flat. N. What if I'm looking for B, C? I know E is C. E. Okay. Here Comes the Bride. And B, C, so I know that that has to be a four, right? It's gonna be a one, six, four. And this is one, B, this is the six, C, which is the A flat. I can do that because I spend time, I spend days and night practicing that, okay? So do chromatic movements, guys. You know, try to memorize a note. Try to memorize the sound from a note, okay? Try to memorize a song, okay? Find your favorite part in a song and, 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 and make your brain, train your ears to be comfortable with the, the sound quality of that song. For example, um, there's a song I like. Uh, uh, well, it's Jaira, and then there's another one that is called, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, uh, so I think it's Mercy by uh, Brett Young or something. Mercy, why you gotta show up looking so good just to hurt me? Something like that. So this is my second favorite song, um, but I'm not going to use that today. Again, I can, but you know, I don't want this video to be too long. So guys, again... This video, I am not editing it because I don't want you to think that I am cheating. I'm cutting the video just to get good parts. Um, GoPro has a tendency of chopping the video every five minutes. Uh, if you hear a little glitch, it's because of GoPro. I am not editing that. You're going to get it as is. Even if I make a mistake, I am not editing that because I want you to really understand that you can develop relative pitch you can develop your ears to hear things or to to memorize sound it is possible i didn't have that before i did not i just had to train my ears until now i can still hear e flat mm. oh see i was off 
But if I were to think of the song, uh, da, 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 that I can remember. Da, da, da. See? Now, if I do that, I can, I can hear the E flat now. See? The first time I didn't get it, but the second time I can nail it. I can use other techniques to get me to that uh, E flat. I know it's, you see, I find it now. It's not always going to be 100%. That's why you have to work on it. That's why you have to keep on practicing every day. That's the only way you'll get it perfect. So chromatic, okay, chromatic, okay. I have E flat. Let's sing the, the half step up. Let's, let's, we're going to keep on going a half step up. Again, I am not going to be like the 44, I think the 440 hertz. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hit that ever. Okay. I think that's that's the perfect tune. I think it's 440, right? 440 hertz. If if I were to pick this note, my voice will never hit 440 hertz to match this, because the keyboard is programmed to stay in tune. My voice is not. Therefore, I am gonna be a lot off or a lot sharp. I'll be a lot flat or a lot sharp. I can I can never hit it right on. Although sometimes the listener might think, oh my God, you hit it right on. No. If you were to analyze, if you were to measure my voice with the keyboard, it'll never be, be perfect. It's either it's gonna be flat or sharp. It's gonna happen because I'm human, okay? I am not a robot. I am not programmed to hit a 440 hurts okay so that's what it is guys hope you like this video guys please give me a thumbs up if you like this video click the notification button so that when i put a video out you'll be the first to see it okay uh and please guys subscribe 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 i want to do an e-training video for you almost i want to say once a week because if i do every day I'll, I'll, if i say every day i'll lie to you i don't want to lie to you so uh, once a week, I'll do something. Um, next video, I think what I'm going to do is I will pick a song. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't flag me. I will pick a song, and just by hearing the song, I'll tell you the numbering of the chord progression for ear training. Okay, how about that? All right? See you next time. Oh, if you see that I'm, I'm wearing this sweater right here, this company, Vibe Cleaners, has helped me tremendously. I am able to record right now. It's because of Vibe Cleaners. They help me with uh, the equipment. Um, and also, you can see that, you know, I have the logo in the background too. Okay, so that's the logo. They do commercial and residential work, uh, especially cleaning. Uh, uh, they do upholsteries. They provide housekeeping, all of that. You know, this is the sweater right here. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you're in the Westchester area, you need carpet cleaning, anything cleaning that you need, uh, please give them a shot. You know, um, they've been getting five stars throughout. Customers do love them, okay? So give them a shot. They'll come and give you a great service at a reasonable price, okay? All right, so Vibe Cleaners, I can't thank them enough for making this video possible. So the same equipment that they use to um, do promos is the same equipment I'm using right now to uh, uh, record my studio. So thank you, Vibe Cleaners, and I appreciate that. So I said, you know what, I'm going to wear the sweater today to make this a video. I know that you guys would probably, uh, were probably thinking, oh, why are you wearing this shirt if you, you know, having an ear training? I don't understand. This is why, okay? They support me. And I appreciate that. So, hey, why not? Right? I represent. I work for them as well. I do work for them. Um, so when I'm not here making videos, I am on the street cleaning or, or, or seeing customers as well. So, hey, 
you got to make a living, right? Just like you're making a living doing whatever that you can, right? So that's the same case here. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I don't want to make this video too long. I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.